no sound. Now we should be better. Um, hey, everyone. I hope you can hear me now. Let me know. Uh, Lisa's here. Lola's here. Marianne's here. Barbara's here. Um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so I was just saying, welcome to the Summer Maker Forte Party. We have lots of giveaways and fun stuff planned today. Lots of inspiration and all sorts of fun things. So come join us. Um, hey, hey, Carmen. Hi, Carrie. Welcome, everyone. Um, making sure I got all my stuff up ready to go as well. Hope you're all having a great Saturday. Hi, Rose. Christine's here. Uh, Melinda's here. Barbara's here. Beverly's here. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Um, we have just been cleaning the craft room. It's a little bit later than I planned, but we've tidied up in here so I can do a mega D stash. So this room um, is actually going to become Greg's office. My studio is going over to my mom's house, and um, then I'm taking Greg's office. My office is becoming a print room so we can print everything here in-house for you and uh, come out with some more, even more fun things. And uh, so we're just kind of moving everything around. So Greg's going to take this space and it'll have like a little game room, a lounge, an office and everything up here. So I'm tidying ready to de-stash because I'm going to have a mega, mega de-stash. Not quite sure how we're going to get rid of everything that's in here. Um, but somehow I have to pare it down. I bought a dream box. It doesn't actually arrive until September, October time. Um, so we'll we'll figure it out and make it work. Um, hey, Melinda. Christine's here. Janet's here. Laura's here. Um, Barbara's here. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a fab Saturday. If you are new here, drop me a comment and let me know so I can personally welcome you to the channel. And of course, uh, welcome to all of our regular followers. We are a prickle family here. And one thing we want to encourage is community. So feel free to join our Facebook groups. Make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I go live. Um, and we'll have lots of fun things going on. Sandy's here. Hey, Alicia. Olivia's here as well. So it looks like we are getting full book, fully booked and everyone's coming in here as well. Um, but I want to share with you, we have some great new summer things for card makers. I have tons of samples to share with you. I'm going to do lots of demos and things as well. So um, I'm going to pop in the comments the link to the new release. It's called, uh, oh, that's not what it was. Um, let's do that. There we go. And um, it's called to Make a Toast. And so, um, hey, Tiger, Tiger Berry Berry. She says, I usually catch you live on the returns, but it's the first time to have you actually live. Welcome to being here live. Um, hi, Bethany Scott. She says, first time joining live. So excited. Welcome. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe ring bell. I do lots of videos with tips and tricks and tutorials and all sorts of fun things. We've just been having a summer camp where we revisited some of your supplies in your craft room and showed you different ways to use them and to kind of find supplies that we all hoard and organize that we might not actually pick out and use. And then uh, we also have Let Loose. We've been doing the most amazing mixed media tag journal with Mansi Makes. We have some fun events. We also have holidays coming up. If you haven't joined us for holidays, come along. I will be unboxing the special holidays box this week, which means the early bird pricing will end probably Wednesday. It just depends how quickly I can make the stamps because some of them we are actually making here in house in our red rubber. And um, so it just depends how fast I can get those done. So hi, Carrie. Uh, Carmen, I hope you're feeling better. I missed your comment, but uh, just seeing everything on there as well. Um, so let's dive straight in. Uh, Jen says she was already shopping, but she was waiting for the live before she checked out. Um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. So yes, our theme this month is make a toast. And so you can imagine it's all about food and drink and happy times, summer times, and I'm excited to share it with you. So where should we dive in? We have inks, we have gems, we have stencils, we have stamps, we have dyes, we have new uh, magic double ephemera. What's everyone's favorite? You tell me and I'll dive straight in and you can let me know. Um, Thanks for the comments. Yeah, it's my dress. I got it, I think, in a Macy's clearance or something like that. I've had it a while. I don't wear it very often. I probably should wear it more. It's super pretty. It's all crocheted on top here. And then there's like a little black skirt on the bottom. So 
Uh, just feeling nice and summery as well. Stamps, inks, inks seem to be super popular. So let's dive into the inks. Now, if you have one of our early access subscriptions, you already have these in your craft room and they are really, really pretty colors. So the three colors this month are Coronation Purple, Telephone Box, and Everglade. So they're lovely, rich, regal colors. And our rich colors are, um, so Everglades comes into our American Primaries collection. Telephone Box and Coronation Purple are in our British Banter collection. So they're gonna be your dual tones. Everglades is gonna be more of that primary green. And then you also have the matching re-inkers as well. So here's the three re-inkers for you too. They are available. And I'll swatch some out. I have some cardstock here so you can see how gorgeous they are. The lovely thing is you can, when you're blending, and I'll show you this later, you can go from light to dark. So look at that beautiful purple. So pretty. Uh, makes you think of that lovely amethyst coronation royal. Here's your Everglades green. And here's your telephone box red. A beautiful, rich, intense color. Isn't that just a beautiful palette to work with? Um, we will be working with these today in some of our demos and things, but I love this palette here. It's beautiful. It's going to be perfect for whether you're doing Christmas in July. We just about made it cards. Uh, it's Maddie's birthday yesterday, so I know, you know, kind of we're right at the end there, but uh, you can do that. You can work on your bright summers. You've got those beautiful colors in there and a great addition to the color palette. And to go with those, we have three new colors of gems, and they are super pretty. You're going to see them all on the samples this afternoon, but let me open them up so you can see. This is Aura. You can see in here is that pinky, purpley. Isn't that beautiful? That's Aura. I'll put some in my hand so you can really kind of see how gorgeous they are. They're a flat-backed rhinestone, and they work beautifully with your magic wand, and your iCraft adhesive pen on there as well. You have rose, of course, uh, in that beautiful, like light pink, that perfect kind of rose uh, champagne y color on there. I just love these. They're so pretty because it depends what color cardstock you put them on as to whether they look more pinky or silver. It's a really clever little gem. And then we have tartan teal so this is our tartan teal it matches our tartan teal inks and things perfectly and it's that beautiful kind of you know tealy color again if you're making christmas cards or cocktails or summer it's just that beautiful beautiful thing on there thank you so much alicia happy release day to you too oh yeah i changed my nails so i went for ice cream shades just because we're doing the make a toes kind of fun food and things, you'll see there's some cotton candy and stuff in there. So I changed my rainbow out to be the pastel colors as well. We have two new dyes for you, which I'm really excited about. So this is the first one. It's a slimline cover dye from Alex Siberia. It's Flower Trio. Um, it's very similar to the stencil we had, but you can do so many beautiful things. Look at this card that Carrie made here. Isn't that just stunning? And she used... Um, some of our confetti in there, some glitter mixes in there. Stay tuned for a new ebook coming up on how to do these kind of shaker cards and make your own mixes. But I love the way she blended all the colors in here. And then this is one of our new stamp sets you'll find out for siblings. Uh, it's just so, so pretty. I love it. So good, great job there, Carrie. It's beautiful. And they come in that thick envelope with the Velcro on the back. So you've got the storage and you can store these perfectly in your craft room in like a little box or however you want to. It's got the name, a picture on it, everything you need to know. And then we have Square Matrix. This is another slimline cover die. Um, you can see here, so they're in that black. This is black is a Teflon coating, so it really helps you release your dies super easily. Um, they're a deep etch, and then you can make something like this that Amanda made. So she used uh, white cardstock and she put the easy cut adhesive on top. Uh, and added in here some English mustard uh, biodegradable glitter because it's got that kind of rich gold to it on there. She put the, you put the call in school on there and then blended a background using ink. So you can see it's just slightly shaded. It gets a little bit lighter towards the middle. Um, you can see here, it's on the pink and then she added some ink just to give it some extra um, things on there. So, so pretty. 
Uh, I absolutely love it. I think she did an awesome job. Uh, Tiger Berry Berry says, love the slimline dyes. Flower dyes were beautiful. One of these days, I'll be able to afford the whole bundle release. For now, I'm enjoying my very first subscription. Yay, I'm so glad, Jen. Remember, we also have Afterpay on the site. So you can spread it out with zero interest um, into manageable payments. So if there's something you desperately want, you have that option on there too. Uh, Toby Ray says, looks fun on the square matrix to insert colors. I think that would be absolutely awesome. I love that idea. Um, and if you use that easy cut adhesive, it's so, so easy to do as well. So there's a couple of things we can maybe play around with those a bit later on. And then we have our magic double ephemera. Who here has played with our magic ephemera? I'm going to show you in just a second how to do it. So there are two sets of the ephemera. Um, this one is the sentiment, and then this is the sentiment negative. So the way it works is you get 21 pieces in each. So let's find a pairing. So I keep these in those little like photo boxes once I've taken them out of the packaging. And then I just snip this bottom bit off and I put it inside my little photo box. And I put the negatives in with it too. So. Let's see if we can quickly identify a pair. Maybe you can see so you've got Hakuna Moscato, Campfires and Cocktails, Sip Happens, It's Okay to Wine, K Syrah, Syrah, uh, Put a Cork in It, Time to Wind Down, uh, Because Adulting is Hard, Everything Happens for a Riesling, uh, Be Kind, Please, Rewind, uh, Call Me Old Fashioned, I love that one, Winosaur. I'm on cloud wine. Girls just want to have wine. It looks like wine o'clock. Pour yourself a drink, darling. Craft cocktails and cards. Just keep sipping. Love the wine you're with. Stop and smell the rosé. Why not? And screw it, which are just fun. And so you have the positive and the negative for each if you get the two packs. I'm going to pick these up carefully and pop them on top. And then I'll put them in my little organizers later. So the way these work is you can use any of the thermal web foils with them. Tilly picked this color. This is turquoise. Uh, so I let her pick whatever she wanted to do. And then I'm going to uh, have fun, Sally. She's off on a riding lesson. Um, so I'm just going to pick out a piece here. I'm just going to cut a small bit off, just enough for what we need. You don't need tons and the great thing about this technique is it's a no waste so you get to use every inch of your foil so you really get to stretch out your budget here so um i'm gonna put this in so the first thing we're going to do is take our rainbow brush that we use for toner only and you're going to brush off just so that you make sure you get any toner dust that's on there off. Then take your foil and pop it on top. If you want to, you can trim down. I have a little drawer I keep all these scraps in and I pull them out when I need them. And for this one, I also recommend using just a little bit of regular cardstock, like an A2 card front is perfect. Or maybe something if you made a boo-boo on it, you can use that. And just use it for a little bit of extra stability. You'll find it just helps with the ephemera to give you a better uh, foil. I'm also putting it just in a piece of our parchment carrier sheet. And if top tip, if you cut our parchment carrier sheet in half, then um, you'll get two out of that. I have my laminator just here off to the side. My cable's not quite long enough. It's caught on something. So there we go. We can pull this out and put it on here. Hey, Pam, welcome. Hi, Kathy. Um, shadow die cuts. Yep, that would be fun too. Um, we're going to do a little bit here. I'm going to show you how easy this is. So this is my Amazon laminator. I put it on the 5 mil setting because that's the hottest that we've got in here. Okay, so when you've done that, look how cool this is. So Call Me Old Fashioned is now perfectly foiled. But the fun part is we get to take the rest of our black, so this is your negative, take your foil that you just did and put it on top. I just want to make sure that we line it up the best we can. I think we're pretty good there. 
And now I'm going to put it through again. I'm just going to hold it in place till I feel the laminator kind of grab it. Yeah, keep trying, Jen. Just there's a few, if you go back and revisit our foil video um, at camp, there's some great tips in there. And um, it is just a little bit of practice. I would say, whoops, this one got stuck. Here we go. Um, but you'll see it's super easy and it's just so effective. I love this double ephemera. Um, let's turn this off. And here's the magic. So here's your one. Kind of do the best job of lining it up, but did pretty good. Um, but you can see all you do is line it up, pop it through, and then you have the opposite. So now you have two pieces of ephemera and no waste on that foil piece. And you can use this for all sorts of things. So, you know, have fun with that and keep all your little scraps. Trust me, you will use them up. But I love those other double ephemera. So, so pretty. Um, and you can get them in the new release link. I'm going to find them for you. Oh, we've got some pretty papers. I totally forgot about those as well. Um, let's make sure I've got them up here. So I'm just finding you. The link. Have you all checked out the new website that Amanda did? It's awesome. She does such a great job. Let's. Here's your Sip Happens ephemera. And here's your second piece. There we go. So next up, let's try some stencils. We all love our stencils here. And if you didn't know, we make all the stencils in house. We have a laser cutter. We make them, package them, everything by hand completely. And when you order a stencil, we go and make it for you. We don't carry huge stocks of stencils. So when you say, hey, I'd really like this one, we go and make that for you. This one here is called uh, Full House, I think. Um, and you can see it's two layers. So you've got the reds and you've got the blacks. And when you layer them together, it gives you, isn't this cool? So when you layer those together, you can make cards just like this. And I love, Amanda made this one, I believe. And she used uh, the crushed ice cube, which I'm gonna show you in a second in the background. You see that lovely little watermark in there. And then she made this panel side by side, miles apart will always be connected by heart. That is from our new siblings stamp set. Um, these, if you don't have a five mil setting, just run it through twice. You just wanna make sure you get it nice and hot. The hotter, the better, I find. And there is a too hot point, but um, yeah, try that. So here is um, how to use that stencil. So, so pretty, I absolutely love that. And then this is designed by Bethany. So she designed this, I think she did a great job. So it's that beautiful floor on the background with the happy birthday in front there. And here's a card that Amanda made. And she again used her uh, yellow stone ink. You've got a little bit of raw raska in there. And she made this gorgeous happy birthday card. I absolutely love it. Um, so, so amazing. I think she did such beautiful cards, the girls do. Um, we're so lucky to have such a great team here. Yay, everyone loves the new website. It's so cool. Uh, this is great. Look, this is called Pineapple, Pet Pineapple Petals. A bit of a tongue twister. It's three layers. So you can see you've got the different ones. You could even foil a layer and things as well. Um, and then look how, I think Amanda did this one too. So she did the Hakuna Moscato. She didn't add anything onto it, although you can. You can ink blend, you can spritz, you can do all sorts of fun things on top. And then she used three shades of green to create this awesome card. So you've got the evergreen in the middle there. You've got a little bit of palm tree in here. And you've got some lime wire to create this gorgeous effect. And I think she did such an amazing job. It looks so pretty. Of course, you could use it this way. You can use it this way. And it doesn't have to be pineapples. It just, that's what it made us think of was the top of a pineapple. And um, so I just kind of played around with that as well. But I think fab. So thank you, ladies, for such awesome samples. This is part of a set. And I'm going to try and find a couple of the bits of it. So here is the card. 
that Amanda made. She did just keep sipping and she foiled it. And then on the back here, she used our new lattice stencil, which I'm trying to find. So here is the lattice stencil. And she used the uh, Margarita spotlight on top. So again, this one is a two piece spotlight. You have the full spotlight so you can do your one color. And then you also get the, um, the layered piece on top as well. So you get both pieces in there. And we gave you two because it just makes it so much easier when you're ink blending to have the two pieces on there. Again, so she used Lime White and Palm Tree, the uh, Sip Happens Ephemera, and then you've got the Rosé Gems on there just to add a little bit of extra sparkle. But isn't that so cool? I think she did awesome. And then there is another one that goes with it, which is called Sips on the Beach. And again, same thing, you've got that hurricane glass and she made this one with the roller skates gems and look how cool this is. And then the background is the watermelon seeds. So let me get this one out so you can see this one. Um, we're transitioning to this all black so you can see your um, stencils when they're in the packaging. So this is the watermelon seeds. How cool is that? So cool. And there's just so much fun to play with. Like how can you not be making a card with this? And be super happy. I love if you also, you know, you could uh, stencil your background and then maybe do foil on top or a glitter effect on top or kaleidoscope powders that we did at camp on top. So many different ways you could use this. I think you're going to have tons and tons of fun with it. Then we have our lemon layers. So again, you've got two layers in here. You have your lemon leaves, so you can do them in green. And then you have your lemon wedge and your full lemon. And with that, you can make, when life gives you lemons, make a gin and tonic. I mean, who doesn't love a sentiment like that? So much fun. And this is a stamp set I'll be showing you in a minute. Again, so cool. And I love the way she's done this little offset with the black. So she's stamped it with Remarkable, colored it in, and then she's cut out put it on black and then cut another outline to give it that kind of drop shadow effect. How cool is that? Yes, totally could be rain, Pam. It would look awesome as rain. Um, maybe do it and foil some or layer it with spring rain to give you kind of different sizes of raindrops. So, so much fun. So much you can do. Um, awesome job. Again, ladies, I'm going to keep this one to the side just till we get to the stamp set so I can show you. These are fun. And there's two versions of this. I'll get to the other one in a second. So there are two layers. I'll show you both. We have wine and cocktails, which is just like this. So you do the outline of your glass and then you add your drink complete with citrus wedge or little olive piece on top so that you make your glass look full. And if you're more of a beer drinker, then you can do the same. You've got your glasses and your tankard on there. And then you put this one over the top and you put your drink inside the glass. Again, you could layer different mediums. You can layer all sorts of different things together and make something like just keep sipping. Isn't that cool? Just, I have so many ideas. You could put a little gem in your lemon wedges or on your olives. You could use the green gems on there too. Tons and tons of different ways to do it. Uh, Jen says, order is in such a fun release. Uh, Lola wants to make a watermelon card when she's able. I hope you're okay, Lola. Um, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks, Alicia. Yes, please do. It really helps us. Um, Lisa is loving the stencils as well. When we get to the end of the stencils, I'm going to do a giveaway. If I forget, remind me. Um, I've got tons and tons of things to show you. I'm so excited. This is that crushed ice I was sharing with you that she used in the background. It makes a great kind of like torn paper. You can do uh, like grungy effects with it. It's a really great way to add texture. We called it crushed ice just because that's what it reminded us in the context of drinks and making a toast. But just think how many things you could do with this. I really want to make this into like a stamp, like a splatter too. I think it'd be fun to be able to kind of stamp that in the background as well. But isn't that so much fun? Like, awesome. Um, Bethany designed this one. I'm not entirely sure how she designed it, but I think she did an amazing job. And I am really looking forward to crafting. So I'm in limbo. Uh, I had my craft area downstairs, but we've kind of pulled that apart so that we can build a mini craft room downstairs and give Greg this room. So I cannot wait to play with this one. Uh, perhaps we can do another live and I can actually like play around with stuff. 
This one is torn paper. So again, this one was Bethany's idea and I think it's so simple, but so, so clever. Um, so this is a card that Amanda made and she did a rainbow of different colors in here and she, you still are inks are water reactive. Can you see she's got like little droplets of water in the background, like here on the yellow and stuff. And then she uses sisters of different flowers from the same garden from on your sibling stamp set. And you actually get two pieces of torn paper in here. So you can apply ink to this and then smush it down, or you can stencil in and use the water reactive part. And you've got the long like she did. And then you also have the kind of larger area too. Again, tons and tons of different ways. I'm going to put this one to the side because I'd really love to show you some ways that you can use that. This is so fun. I'm surprised we don't have any cards with this one. I guess I'm going to have to craft. Shucks, I have an excuse to craft. Uh, here is our new burst. So I think it's called Pop the Cork because that's what it reminded me of, popping that champagne cork. And uh, I love, but you could use it for a firework. You could use it at Christmas and use it as like, you know, a beam. So many different ways you could use this one. Again, really, really versatile. Um, so, so much fun on there as well. Sandy says, too many things added to the cart. Um, if you need anything, Lola, let us know. Um, we're here to help you and we're here. Elizabeth says, loves fresh ice. My mind is spinning with ideas. Me too. I mean, I love that one. Um, the texture is great too. Yet the burst. Love pop the cork. Lola can't wait to go fill up her car. I can't wait to ship you all these amazing things and see what you all create. Make sure you post in the Facebook group so I can see. There is also shaken, not stirred in that same spotlight. So you've got your martini. Again, you can use this for tons of things. And then you can add that beautiful detail on top or you can stencil something else in there. You can use this spotlight and take, say, the lattice and you put that on the top and you can stencil that through too. So you don't just have to use this spotlight. That's why we give you all the pieces so you can create your own textures and ideas in there as well. Hi, Dolores. Welcome. She says, first time visiting. Such cute stencils. Thank you so much. Welcome to Hedgehog Hollow and Maker Forte. Um, come join us for the new Maker Toast. I'm going to keep, I'll drop the links down there. And then Kathy says, wow, so many stencils. Marcy's loving the layering stencils. I have one more for you. And this one is called Fizzy because who can't look at this and think of the bubbles going up through your Coke or your champagne or your whatever you like to drink. You know, it's just so much fun. This is called Fizzy. And of course you can use it both ways. It also would make great underwater cards because it looks like that kind of that. And you can add your fishes or your mermaids or you know whatever you want to add. I absolutely love how much is that as well. Um, so much fun on there too. So love that too. All right. So I promised you a giveaway at the end of the stencil. So let's do that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just go through the comments. Oh, actually, I'll give you like 15 seconds to put a comment in. So if you haven't commented yet, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and then I'm just gonna randomly scroll through. I'm gonna pick a winner to get a Maker Forte gift card. Um, and then we're gonna move into stamps, which is my little bundle idea, it's so cool. Um, so much, so much exciting. Um, okay, so. Oh, Beverly says it reminds her of a lava lamp. That would be cool. And you could use your neon enamels on it. So, you know, you could create that really fun background. And then what if you took your neon enamels with the big bubbles and like painted a little bit of the Blanco or something in there and then did it and it would look like the lava going up. That's such a cool idea. Okay, so um, a couple more comments coming in. It's a little flurry, so I was just giving you a chance. Uh, Lola says, newbies, subscribe and sign up for the newsletter. Don't forget to subscribe here on the channel. And of course, get your tickets for Lift Your Spirits. I'll be talking about that again in a second. Okay, I'm scrolling. And I landed on Barbara Munn. And congratulations, Barbara. I'm gonna leave Bev Bethany's email address in the comments here. And just email Bethany and she will send you out your gift card. All right, who's ready for stamps? I love new release days. It's so much fun because I get to craft too. This is our new silhouette. It is called Drinks on Deck. And the great thing with the silhouette here, let me show you, is you get this beautiful four by six, four by eight even stamp set. Look how that is. Can I just tell you that Bethany designed this one? 
Like normally I kind of, you know, design some and then she tweaks them for me. She designed this one from scratch. She had an idea. She's like, can I try something? I was like, sure, go for it. And so she designed this and I think it's so cool. You've got the little wine glass on here. You could mask that out if you don't want that on there. You've got the fire you can add in, the hills. There's so many things you can do with this. And then you get the stencil. So once you've stamped it out, you pop the stencil over. Um, and the stencil is as close as we can get. Just know there are tolerances when we manufacture. So they might be small areas. But in general, it's pretty good fit, as you can see. Put this over the top, and then you can create your background. Uh, we also give you this piece in here, which is in the back of your thing. So you can mask off the skyline. Other way, Alex. Uh, you can mask off the skyline and do the base. And then, of course, you could just put a piece of cardstock or this one in here and do the top as well. So you can do them different, and you have that. So... This is Drinks on Deck. If you love this series, because we have the deer, we have the flamingos, we have the elephants, every month is a different one of our Silhouette series. You can get this on early access with free shipping. Um, I will give you an early access link because sometimes we don't have any left after we've done that. So I would hate for anyone to miss out on that. Let me give you a link to early access and you can do the same with the simple sayings with the inks everything and it all gives you free shipping and you get some little extras too um marcy says you can see blended sunsets absolutely i think this is so pretty this literally just came in anyone who had it on subscription got it shipped uh the beginning of the week so the design team haven't even got their ones of these yet um, because they literally just came in. Marcy says she loves elephants. I love the savannah. And the savannah also comes with a dye. There is a dye option on the savannah too, the savannah skies. Now, I talked to you about Lift Your Spirits. Every month on the second Monday of the month, we have a free class you can take. You can hop on over to Make a Forte and sign up to get your ticket. Um, it is free. Just sign up, it's set, and then it emails you a secret link. This is the stamp set we'll be using this month. Um, you can get this for $18.99 rather than the usual $23.99. And I will show you four ways to use this stamp set. I have some really fun ideas. Stay tuned. I can't wait to share them with you. Um, we're going to be doing all sorts of different things with this stamp set. And we coordinate other things with it. This is a card Amanda made with that stamp set. You can see just to give you some ideas of ways you can use it. I love how she used the patchwork here to create this beautiful centerpiece. You can see like the pinwheel is behind the love. So, so fun on there as well. And yep, Hollow Days as well is coming up. It will be live very soon, Lola, to share with you what's in your kit. So if you are not signed up for Hollow Days, you get two whole days with me. You get uh, me, you get a lot of guest instructors. Um, Every hour we do something different. We give away tons of things. You get lots of exclusives and sneak peeks. And we just craft all weekend long. And we have lots of fun. It's about education and community. And they're the two things. So lots and lots of fun there. But this one is called um, Love. And you can get this in the store. And it goes with Lift Your Spirits. So if you want to craft along with us, you can use any stamp set in your stash. Or you can use that one. Can I just tell you how excited I am for the next stamp set? Um, it is so, so pretty. And let me share with you what it looks like. So uh, this is Be In Vogue from Alex Siberia. And I just think it is such a pretty stamp set. It has so many different things you can do with it. I know technically it's not part of our Make A Toast theme, but it kind of is because champagne and heels is, you know, so important. Um, so I'm really, really excited to share this with you. So let me show you some samples I've got as well. I'm just making sure I've got everything up to share with you. So this is what the girls created. Look at this one. The best color in the whole world is the one that looks good on you, says Coco Chanel. So, so true. This one, I love the way they've done this with the uh, Wildcats um, background. Uh, the the wild toner paper, chase your dreams, the heat and embossing on here, and then those bold heels on the front, absolutely gorgeous. And this just might be one of my favorite cards ever. Uh, Carrie made this one, and she used fog with the sunglasses. You all know how much I love my fog. She used the neon inks. You've got the yellow stone in here, and then kind of stamp that sentiment on the front, and all the different gems and everything to highlight it. I think it is just awesome. So. Love this stamp set so much. Thank you, Carrie. I love all the samples. Thank you, Amanda. 
Uh, Uma says, how do we get onto holidays? Let me give you a link. So live classes, holidays, I'm going to put it right there for you, uh, Uma. So that is called Be In Vogue from Alex Siberia. This is one of my inventions. I kind of love it. I think you're going to love it too. I mean, I kind of love it. I absolutely love it, as you can imagine. So this is called Have A Brutiful Day. There is also a stencil that comes in the back of here as well. So you get the stamp and stencil in here. And here is your coffee cup. And then you add your drinks, depending on how you want to add them. And then you add your latte art. You can add all of these fit perfectly inside of here. You can even build your own latte art. Uh, have a grand day. Uh, have a beautiful day. Cool beans. You mean a latte to me. And what would be a stamp set without a few samples to share with you? So here is celebrating your magnificent news. There's a little add-on I'm going to share with you. You mean a latte to me. Oh, that one's not the right set. Yeah, here we go. Here's the add-on set. The add-on set is called Iced Iced Baby Add-on. And you can add extra latte art, even more punny things in here. You mock me happy. Sending you a whole latte of love. You've been so much to me. Celebrating your magnificent news. Sending a card to perk up your day. Iced Iced Baby. Take life one cup at a time. And look how cool this is. So um, Carrie did this. Oh, look, she used it on the back too. That's so cool, Carrie. Um, so she did the you bean so much to me. And she just used the latte art and then just used those on the background. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. Uh, Lola says she needs that stamp for their life. Lisa says, oh my goodness, that stamp set is calling my name. They are so fun. So have a brutal day and iced ice baby add-on. And you can build this. You can make it look like hot chocolate. You could do Christmas and make like handmade hugs in a mug. So many things. Imagine if you made the, um, the mason jars and you make that snowman mix or the hot chocolate mix and things. And you used this to create your little tags that you put on the side and things like that. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, so, so fun. Love it. And of course you get the stencil as well, which fits perfectly over here. So if you want to stencil something in, you can do that too. And um, just to let you know, so when you purchase from this new release, it will add automatically a stencil called Frozen to your cart. I'm also going to include the August stencil. If you buy either of these two stamp sets, the Have a Brutiful Day or the Ice Ice Baby, because the add-on is little coffee stencils that you can fit inside of here as well. So if you order either of these stamp sets, you will also get the um, Brutiful uh, little stencil set that we have. Uh, plus, if you spend $35, everyone will get a free frozen stencil set. And the frozen is an ice cream builder slimline. And that is free. It's a little free gift from us to you. Okay. Lola says, I was almost tempted to leave real quick. FOMO, uh, great for coffee shop gift cards. Yes, that would be so fun. Um, Lisa says, what are we looking at? We just looked at our little new um, coffee stamp sets. And next up, for those of you who loved, 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 how many of you loved spring gnomes? Because I can tell you, when it came to Easter, that was our biggest selling stamp set. So you're going to see some more gnome kind of things coming up. Um, Greg and I have this saying that uh, gnome is my homie or home is where my gnome is and those kinds of things. So to us, it means a lot um, no worries, Melissa. We're about halfway through. We've done stencils. We're onto stamps, but of course you can watch again. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell, all those fun things. I know you'll subscribe on this set anyway, but if you're new here, drop me a comment and let me know so I can personally welcome you to the channel as well. I'm keeping an eye on the comments. And when we've got through all of this, I'm going to craft with you. So we're going to do some crafting as well. So this stamp set is, whoops, wrong button, um, is bubbling with excitement. So you've got the bubbles down here. How cool are these? Can I just tell you how long it took me to draw all those bubbles? Um, but you've got the bubbles coming up. You can also do the bubbles coming down your drink as well. So you can think of it like, you know, whichever way you want it to be. Um, you could make these underwater bubbles too. Tons of different ways to use these. You could do this and have it as falling rain or falling snow and add some marshmallow paste and stuff into it as well. So just remember, 
So cool. But here, hanging with my nomies, closer to jolly with every sip, Prosec, ho, 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 and bubbling with excitement. I love this dance set. Here is the card I nearly showed you a little bit early. Again, the fog in the background. Remember that fog is just such a beautiful gray. And look at my hanging with my nomies. Carrie, they're so cute. You made them look like Santas. I wouldn't have thought that. Just by adding the red hat, you made them look like Santa nomies. So, so cool. Thanks, uh, Carrie. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so next I want to tell you how so delightful you all are that we created this. And it's so much fun because, yes, you can make them into cocktails. You can also make it into a milkshake or an ice cream sundae. Or um, if you ever go to Universal, there's that, uh, what's it called, the Toothsome, Toothsome Chocolate Factory. You know those huge milkshakes they make? Um, so you can turn this into alcoholic or non-alcoholic. And that's the fun part of this. So it's called Take a Sip. And here's some, so this is where um, this, where I showed you earlier, the gin and tonic came from. And here are a few more ideas. So this one is from Carrie. And she's telling us how soda delightful we are. So you've got the soda bottles. You've got the boho arrows in the background the farmhouse font to make soda, and then the little punny on here, that's the stamp set, which I'll be showing you in a second. Isn't that cool? And this one is also Carrie's. She used square matrix. Look at that gorgeous rainbow she blended on there. That is stunning, Carrie. So, so pretty. And then she created um, little milkshakes, and she put what's shaking down the bottom. And it's even in ombre. She's actually stamped it. It goes through from blue, green to blue. That is so clever. Uh, Lisa says, who needs to eat? I'm getting hungry looking at all of this. Can I just tell you now I want to go and get a milkshake? We may have to go to Shake Shack after this live and get milkshakes. But so cute. Love all of these. Gorgeous cards they created as well. Lola says, dibs on that card. So pretty. Uh, Jeannie says she loves the gnomes. Um, Lots of you loving the gnomes as well. The bubbles are amazing. I'm matching glittery snowflake. Oh, for sure, Bethany. That would look awesome. Uh, Dolores says the gnomes are so cute. Carrie loves the fog ink. Oh, me too. It's just like the, so many of you love the fog. Yeah, favorite ink color ever for sure. This one is a little bit different to something we normally do. It's actually Greg's favorite stamp set I've ever never made. It's called Cheers. So you've got Cheers, Sante, Chin Chin, Prost, Skull, uh, Sardu, Sade, I don't know, Salute. Um, and then you've got your cocktails down here. You've got the cheers. This fits in your A2 spotlight circle perfectly, just to let you know if you want them in the spotlight circle. This absolutely works. And then you've got your wine and cocktails on the top here. Um, really, really pretty. This is a card that Carrie made. Carrie is cards, so I can't share them with you. But I will share them with you as soon as they arrive. So she just did, just keep dipping. She stamped this with the remarkable black heat embossed it with clear because you can heat emboss that remarkable black if you work fast and then she used her ink pads with a paintbrush and some water to watercolor that background isn't that so cool i mean i feel like it's a very like grown-up kind of classy stamp but i think it also would be great for the quick and easy cards whether you're doing an invitation a thank you a celebration a happy birthday like this is great for a guy too for happy birthday Tons and tons of different ways to use it. Look what Amanda made. She made this cute little gift card holder that she put all these tags in. She used um, some of the foilable paper and then she created tags using the stamp set. This is the Call Me Old Fashioned, but I really like you. Wishing you a smooth day. Like she just kind of spotlighted the whiskey glass and the bottle on there as well. Um, here's the bubbles. Isn't that just so cool? And then you could pop a little gift card in here. I mean, I think that's so cool too. I can't wait. I did ask Amanda if she would teach us how to do one of these tab books at holidays. So I'm hoping that might be her video. I haven't seen it yet. Um, Carmen says, love this release. You could do gnome mermen swimming in those bubbles. Oh my goodness. Bethy's going to kill me. So hopefully she's not watching. We have the cutest. Um, it comes out, mm, I want to say, I don't know if it's October or November. I'm not sure, but we have the cutest um, like 
mermaid themed Christmas stamp set. Oh my God, it's so cool. So cool. It's so different to anyone else's, but it is so, so cool. You're all going to love it. Um, you know me and Christmas. There's a lot of Christmas stuff, but there's stuff that you can use for winter, um, for all sorts of different things. You don't just have to use it all for Christmas. So, uh, speaking of fun things, who loves some cotton candy? I do. Uh, so this is your little cotton candy cart. Here's your cotton candies. So this little cotton candy here happens to fit perfectly on top of these on the stick. So if you want to do them in cones or cut them out or something. Also, you have in here, you have the cotton candy store and the candy floss store. And both of those fit in here. So we say candy floss in England. I know they say fairy floss in Australia. Uh, so we have fairy floss on here too. So you have candy floss, cotton candy, fairy floss, sponge sugar, give it a swirl. And then these happen to fit in here. Um, and then happiness, dreams taste like, of course you can add that on, as sweet as. And then dreams are soft and sweet and fluffy, the candy floss woven with love. Some moments are like cotton candy. They're wonderfully, wonderful and sweet, but you know they just won't last. Look how beautiful this is. So this again is some of that foilable paper down the bottom here. And then dreams taste like cotton candy. This is pink um, embossing powder. And it looks like she's used her splatter stamp in here and then added that on. Isn't this just adorable? Um, so, so fun on here. Love that. Um, saw the sneak peek of the watch shaking card on the stamp set and knew I wanted that stamp. Love it, Sandy. Love it. Um, how fun is that? So I love it on there. So you've got all different options, just depending whether you call it candy floss or cotton candy or whatever you call it, you have the options in there. Now we have another layering stamp and this is the first ever layering stamp I've designed. Can I just let you know? Um, so here it is. It is your martini builder. And I'm gonna open this up because it's special. So on the back, it shows you the finished martini. And then You've got all your solid pieces. So this is your biggest, and you go to this, and you go to this, and so on, so on. You can add a wedge, you can add an umbrella, you can add an olive pick, and you have all your options. But this one has a special insert. So you can open this up, and it tells you exactly how to build your martini. So you've got a picture of the stamp set, and we've labeled it for you. You have a picture of your finished martini, and then here it tells you how to mix a perfect martini. Uh, with light gray, stamp out your glass base. With a pale blue, stamp out two. With white ink, stamp your stem insert. And of course, everything coordinates to what's on this side. So it tells you exactly how to do it. There's a little bit, of course, you'll use your Maker 4 2 stuff. And then that on the back as well. So it shows you exactly how to build it step by step. Of course, they have samples to share with you too. And I believe this one I'm looking at is Amanda's and I love the way she did this because she didn't use my instructions which is totally fine I love that she used different shades of the same color and then added just a little kind of bit of white on top of the happy hour birthday and look how cool that is um this is from Amanda and I just love the way she took the colors and used those instead of um you know instead of doing it the traditional way, but I love that so much fun. Welcome, Rue. She says, I'm a newbie, like your stencils. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Um, and then this one is Carrie's, and she did the fog and then the blue, and she's added pinks and purples in there. She added, this is an extra drink, Carrie, can I just tell you, with an umbrella and your lemon wedge on the side there. Trust me, you can dance. Isn't that so fun? So cool. And here is the sentiment set you've all been seeing. So you've got Trust Me You Can Dance, XO Champagne, um, Happy Hour Birthday, When Life Gives You Lemons, Make a Gin and Tonic, Can't Wait to Drink Together Soon, Eat, Drink and Be Merry for My Partner in Wine. Cheers to you. Wishing you a smooth day. I need a huge margarita. It actually says hug and then, you know, margarita. Stop and smell the rosé. In wine years, you're extra fine. You're my main squeeze. Happy birthday, bird. You're neat. Let's get into birthday spirit. So delightful. Every bloody needs some bloody. Uh, what's shaking? Call me old fashioned, but I really like you. And it's your birthday. Shake it up. So lots of fun sentiments to use alongside all of these 
cards. Uh, Carrie says, I'm a little extra sometimes. I love it, Carrie. So fun and such fun samples. Now we have something for you. Um, so I'm going to share a little anecdote before I share this stamp set with you. So in when we lived in Ohio, there was a place in Kent that sold the best bubble tea. If you're in Kent or anywhere near Kent, Ohio, go to Ming's. It looks like nothing on the outside, but it's the coolest place. It has post-it notes all over the wall where people have made wishes. They have like this wish wall. And um, we used to go and they could do, you could get uh, every kind of bubble tea you could possibly imagine. And they put like cotton candy on top, or you could have like marshmallow toppings, or you could have traditional. And there's no one really down here that does great bubble tea that we found yet anyway. But we used to go to Ming's and it is Tilly's favorite. So when I was doing a drinks collection, we had to have a bubble tea set. So here is my bubble tea set. And this one here is called Love and Bubbles. So you have your three bubble teas and you also have all of your bubbles. So these are all your bubbles and they all fit perfectly in all the drinks. Of course, you could turn this into a frappe or something too. You could turn it into iced coffee. It doesn't have to be bubble tea. You can also add faces to it because I love doing those. It's one that says drink me, homemade, love. So just a fun thing. And then to go with it, and this will also work with, you know, lots of the coffee sets and things as well. Sorry, I'm so terribly late because tarot is a flavor of bubble tea if you've never tried. Happy belated birthday. You give me bubble flies for my bestie. I think you're a cutie. You're terrific. It's your birthday. Let's party. You're extraordinary. Uh, wishing you a terrific birthday. Uh, oh, hey, hey, boba bay. To me, you're perfect. You're the milk to my boba. Hey, bestie. Congrats. You're terrific. We oolong together, sending positivity. You make me feel bubbly. You are totally my type, and I'm so glad you're my bestie. Oh, my fun. So fun. Oh, if you haven't heard of bubble tea, oh, go try it. It's um, a Japanese tea. I'll show you a couple of samples in a second. It's a Japanese tea. And uh, you can get, like, jasmine. You can get flavors. Taro is one of my favorites. It's sweet but not too sweet. It's, like, naturally sweet. Um, you can get fruit flavors everything and they now now do like fun ones like almost like milkshakes and then they put bubbles in the bottom now you can either get boba that is um what's the word i'm looking for um it's like tapioca that's the word if you can get boba that is tapioca they're going to be like dark or pearls they call them and they're chewy some people like them some people don't i like them the kids don't greg doesn't he likes coffee jelly um so often there's jelly flavors and then the other ones are the bursting boba and they're filled with fruit juice. So they're the girls' favorites. They like load up on those. And they're full of fruit juice. Um, maybe I'll go for bubble tea. I'll take some pictures along the way. Um, you have to follow us on Instagram if you want to see those. Over the next couple of days, we'll go and we'll get some bubble tea. Um, but it's so fun. It's a great experience. And just play around and find what you like. Like Greg likes the coffee ones because they taste like a Starbucks frappe. I like taro, uh, the kids like the fruit. Sometimes they do iced snow, there's so much fun. So try it out, it's a fun thing. And then um, here are a couple of cards. Look at this, you're terrific. And then they use the circle, the true slimline circle spotlight. Oh, that cool idea that is to create your background like that. I love that. And the ombre up here. Carrie, that's just so clever, you're so clever. And she used two colors in the background here. I just noticed, isn't that fun? And then here are some tags. Oh, hey, Boba Bay. And you give me bubble flies. I love them. And of course, you can use these like confettis. You don't just have to put them in there. Oh, she did the circles. I don't know if you can see that on here. Let me see if I look at that. Can you see she took the circles? She added white gel pen and she turned them into little paw prints. Amanda, that's just such a clever idea. I'm pretty sure these are Amanda's. And then she braided these up here. So fun. So fun, 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 fun. Okay. Here is another fun one. This I've been sharing with you as we've been going through. Uh, this is for the bond of a sibling. Ain't no brother better than mine. You're the best bonus brother for my soul sister. I'm sorry I got all the good genes. Always remember there is nothing worth sharing like the love that lets us share our name. Side by side or miles apart, we'll always be connected by heart. Sisters are flowers, different flowers from the same garden for my brother, for my sister. For my twin, sisters by birth, friends by choice, I'll always be your backup. Brothers make the best friends. Hi, twinny. For my sister, from another mister. So there's literally everything you need in here as well. Our comment says, 
Um, my daughter is bringing me a coconut one for our surgery treat. So cool. Well, find me on Instagram and I'll uh, take the girls for bubble tea. I'm sure Maddie needs a bubble tea treat. This is our freebie stencil um, from a couple of months ago, this flower spotlight. And so pretty, so simple. Look, but beautiful blending and then so effective. The sisters are different flowers from the same garden. I love it. Absolute love it. So there's that. Then uh, we also have our Teaching My Tribe. So ready for back to school? We have a gorgeous background stamp. Now remember, you can also just use these words um, or if you're doing your um, Let Loose, remember you could use these as your affirmations. Inspire, guide, trust, patience. Wouldn't that be fun to cut those out and use them like that as well? You don't have to use the apple at the top. You can use it for other things too. Teaching my tribe. Thanks for putting love into teaching. Thank you for brightening my year. And look at the light bulb. Again, tons of things you can do with the light bulb. Look at this one here. This is uh, down the rabbit hole, I think. Thanks for brightening my year. Love. So pretty. And you could use this again, like if I was going to make something for Greg, you know, being an engineer, light bulb moment. So all I thought of there was Gru when he goes, light bulb. Anyway, love it. Love it, love it, love it went through that and then here i have the final touches but trust me you're going to want to wait to the bottom of this pile there's awesome things in this pile these are our three uh simple sayings for this month so we have five o'clock somewhere we have a uh, fun national holiday so it's things like donut day uh there's a little bit of thanksgiving there's some christmas there's some fall there's like all those kinds of things. Want an avocado? Like you could use it for Valentine's Day or avocado day. And you get the top and the bottom and then you've got the big ones behind it. Uh, we've got thankful all around uh, V2. So we've redone thankful all around to give it a fun, fresh, new twist. You actually, so I'm going to share this. Going to get a bonus if you order this first lot. So there was a typo. It was a very small one. It was supposed to say thank you for your support. So we had them reprinted. So you're actually going to get both sheets. And the only ones you can't use are that. So you're going to get a bonus sheet. And then behind, the same with the other two, you get the big versions. And some of them, the sentiments are the same. Some of them are different. And then you've got, you know, you can use it on the inside of a card. You can use it um, as an ephemera piece. And to let you know, if you are in our Insiders Club, so let me drop a link to the new release first. Uh, that's not the link to the new release. This is. So here's the new release. I want to tell you about Insiders. So if you hate paying shipping, me too. If you ever order on our website over $75, it's free shipping. Um, but we also have our Insiders Club, which is free shipping every single day doesn't matter what you order, you get free shipping. You also get SVGs for every stamp set we release now. Um, so if you want to cut out your stamps, you don't have to buy a die. If you have a Cricut, a Silhouette, an Eclipse, um, a Scan and Cut, whatever it is, you get the file you need for that machine. You just download it, pop it in, and you can cut out all your stamped images. No, no dies. So subscription to that is included. And we are now adding, because we keep on adding value to it, is you're going to get the SVG file to cut these out, these bigger images. You're going to get an SVG file that cuts out the whole sheet. So you can turn it into your own homemade ephemera as well. So we're going to add those into Insiders. It's $19.99 a month and you get so much value because not only is it just the free shipping, which is going to save you $5 on every order, and you're also going to get those SVG files. Now you think a set of dies is like $20 plus. We don't do them to go with our stamp sets because I just don't want to go down that road. Instead, we have the files and you can get access to every single one. So you think we have, I don't know, like a hundred and something stamp sets. Um, you think of the value, you're getting the, the die set effectively for every single stamp set in our inventory, which is super, super cool. Um, and now you're going to get that as well. So I'm going to wallet. You're just looking at my lovely face. Uh, next up, we have our latest cardstock. It's called Cappuccino. How perfect to go with this month. But it's a beautiful craft, like harvest color. Um, so if you love making those craft, if you color with a white color pencil and fog on this, can I just tell you how beautiful that is going to look? Um, I love this. It's called Cappuccino. And there's just so many things you can do. The watermark pad looks amazing on here. Like so, so amazing. And then... 
we have two specialities. Look at this paper. It's called Rose Gold Ripple. It's a really premium paper. It's absolutely luscious. And just look how that dances, this holographic effect. So we work with a paper mill. These are all made in America papers. And they create these stunning papers that are just a little bit different. They're a little bit more pricey than some of the others, but we pay for the fact, one, it's made in America, and two, it has this really special production process to give it this hologram. A little bit like our glitter paper. It is super smooth. You can stamp on it. You can ink on it if you want to. Um, you know, play around with it. It's nice and thick. You can also die cut it. And you get two card fronts out of each sheet and you get five sheets in a pack. Um, but isn't that just beautiful? So as we called it rose gold ripple because it really is what it reminds me of. And you could just use a small element, you know, use a strip on your cards and or you can, of course, use it across the whole thing. So pretty, absolutely gorgeous. Um, love that. And we also have a second vellum. So last month we introduced our gold vellum. This month we're introducing our silver pearl vellum. Look how gorgeous this is. Again, this is actually Italian vellum. It's a really beautiful, it's a premium parchment. Um, it has a metallic silver finish in it and just a little bit of like a ripple that goes through it to add some interest. So you see it and it looks that beautiful, but you can just catch, as I catch the light, you can see that little bit of ripple going through it. Um, so this is our vellum or parchment. Um, but it's absolutely stunning. Um, and it just adds so much effect. You can also emboss, um, you can emboss images. There is a great way you can stamp with black ink. I like to then uh, heat emboss it, like just with clear. So it has a little bit of texture to it. And then if you get a foam mat and um, a stylus, like I just had some in my hand before I was live. I can't find where they went. But if you get like the ball stylus and a foam pad, you can add veins to your flowers and this creates the most beautiful effects. Like try it, you will love it. Um, and it you can cut out the flowers or, you know, whatever you want to make on it. It's great for Christmas cards. Again, you've got five sheets in here and it's just so, so pretty. So what does everyone think? What was your favorite item? Leave me a comment. I'm going to draw another giveaway winner in a second. And um, can you get the bubble tea set by itself? Yes, you can come and uh, it's on. Uh, actually, I happen to have the right page open. So it's on this page. You can get the bubble tea and the bubble tea sentiments on there as well. Can you heat and emboss using kaleidoscope powders? You cannot, Irene. Just use the clear ink, put your kaleidoscope on top, and then seal it with the hairspray. Um, I can't remember if you were there when we were live in camp this week, uh, but if you were, lots of tips in there. Go revisit the um, download that uh, Amanda did for you as well. It's really, really awesome. Dolores loves the paper. Um, trying to catch up on comments because I haven't been looking at them for a second because I was talking through that. Lisa says it's too hard to choose. Elizabeth says new stencils. So um, lots of mixes on there. Wendy says the rose gold ripple paper is a must have. The vellum is so pretty. Need the drinks, the coffee. Can't pick a favorite. The Nomi's and the cotton candy are my favorite. Oh, I know it's so hard to choose. Um, yes, tons and tons of that. I missed if there's a new ink. There is pack, three new colors of ink. Um, we have Everglades, Telephone Box, and Coronation Purple. At the beginning, I swatched them out. Where's my piece of paper going? I buried it in all the goodness we've got sitting here. So these are your three new colors. You've got Telephone Box, you have Everglades, and you have Coronation Purple. Uh, such vivid, beautiful colors. Our colors are all of our own formulations. We did these ourselves uh, in conjunction with an amazing chemist. So they are thick and opaque. If you work quickly, you can heat emboss with them. They are water reactive, so you can create some of those gorgeous effects you saw the girls in the design team creating as well. Uh, Jen says she loves the martini stamp. Uh, Melissa would still love a swatch sheet for the kaleidoscope powders. So there is a sheet, Melissa. I don't know if Amanda put it in our wrap up. If not, just email at mandramakerforte.com. She has a swatch sheet that you can create yourself. Um, she's made boxes for all the different kaleidoscope powders and you can stamp in there. She did it the last hollow days. So uh, that is available to everyone. Um, Pam says, I got those for the subscription. Have I shown the August ones? No, we'll show them at Lift Your Spirits. So make sure you are there. Um, how do I stencil a martini? 
How do the stencil martini and the stamp martini work together? They don't, they're different ones, Loretta. So the um, martini stamp shows you how to layer and create that gorgeous martini like these. And then the martini stencil is a spotlight with an insert, which I'm just gonna put some of this back in my, it's over here. So this is your martini stencil set. And we have some samples using the other ones in that series. I've just got to scroll down. Here we go. This is the Hurricane. And here's the Margarita. So that's how they work together as well. Gina says, there's so many wonderful items to choose from. How do you choose? The Boba set is my favorite, says Carmen. Uh, can you buy individual? You absolutely can, uh, Carmen. So you can buy this new release individually. Every item I have shown you is available individually on the website. Here's the link again. Um, and you can check it down in the links below if you're not live with us anymore or open the live chat and you can see them. Um, so every single item is available individually or you can bundle. So the other option you have with all the new releases always is to bundle. And um, the bundles are great value. Uh, you can get, I'm just going to tell you because it's been a hot second before I did them. So you can get the Gotta Have It All bundle. Um, and you actually save $170 by getting that together. So huge savings. Then there's the gotta have it all without the subscription items. So if you have any of our early release items, we take those out and there's a bundle for that. There is all the stamps, all the stencils, all the inks, all the dyes. So they're your uh, six different uh, bundle options on there. And um, I can't wait to see what you all create as well. I do have to hop off now. It took me a little bit longer than I thought because there's so many awesome things and so much chatter that we all do. Uh, I have to go help Greg so that we can get the vulcanizer up and running and we can start making stamps. How cool is that going to be? Um, I'll be back to unbox the Hedgehog Hollow Days um, collection as well. And also come join me. Uh, make sure you've hit subscribe and rung the bell because I really want to craft with some of these awesome new supplies. I just We just ran out of a bit of time today. So... I will try to be back tomorrow. If not, it will be early next week. We do have Let Loose uh, for those of you who are enrolled on Tuesday. Um, but I'm around all of this week and uh, I'm super excited to share all sorts of fun things with you. And um, if you come to Lift Your Spirits, which is a week on Monday, so two days time plus a week, um, I will also be sharing the next uh, Lift Your Spirits stamp set. So you'll get a preview of what's coming up in the next release. You'll see what the new Simple Sayings theme is. You'll get to know what the new silhouette's going to be. It's really cool, by the way. It's really, it's spooky, but it's cool. And you'll also get to make four cards using one stamp set. So really how to stretch your supplies. Plus the next three ink colors, which I know Alicia and Pam are bet desperate to know, but I can't tell you today. So make sure you come and stop by. Oh, I need to do one more giveaway, I promised as well. Uh, Kathy says she's going to choose the Nomies. Um, Lou says, hi, Hedgehog Hollow. My mom, Elizabeth, loves you. Oh, thank you so much. Love to your mom as well. Uh, Lola says, too many favorites to pick. Um, Dawn says, love this show. Thank you so much. What a great release. Um, also, all of these samples, if you go to the product page on the website, the pictures of the samples should be in there as well. I think Bethany is finished. If not, she's working on them and they get uploaded. And if you can never find a sample, just email us and let us know. We're always happy to send you pictures so that you can recreate them. Make sure you also follow us at maker.forte, both on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we have a fun giveaway coming up. We just did a giveaway because we hit 50,000 Facebook subscribers. And uh, we just hit 70,000 here on YouTube as well. So tell your friends about us. I so want to get to that 100,000. That's my goal. So I really appreciate you if you hit subscribe, ring the bell, and tell your friends about Hedgehog Hollow and the tutorials and all sorts of fun things we have going on. So come join us. And I'm super excited. Thank you for joining me today. Um, let's pick out our favorite winner as well. Um, I landed on me. So that doesn't work. Let's try again. I landed on Camper 1965. Congratulations. Um, let me put Bethany's email in the comments for you as well. Uh, make sure you go over there and uh, send Bethany an email and she'll send you out your gift card uh, on Monday when she's back in the office. 
Uh, Bethany Scott says, just placed my first order yesterday and now my wish list is huge again, just in time for my birthday. Perfect. Well, remember, you can ask for gift cards for your birthday as well. Uh, and you can get those from your loved ones. Notice you have the Empress. Need to get a stamp and die machine. Never had one. What would you recommend? Great question, Dolores. Um, the one thing I'll always say with tools is there's a lot of personal preference. I can only tell you what I have and I love. So I like the Empress. I have one of those. The only downside of it is you cannot use any hot foil plates in there at all. Um, I do love the Gemini as an all-rounder. Uh, it doesn't cut the thick steel rule dies. So if you do love thick steel rules, then just know that that's not going to fit in there. Um, but the Gemini overall, it has its own foil system. If you ever want to go down that road, it's a great thing that you can have that as an add-on. Um, I do love how the Empress cuts. I've been really happy with it. Um, so I have an Empress here and I have a Gemini downstairs. They're my favorites. You can see I have another Gemini, the big Gemini back here as well. Um, so again, try it out, see what you love. But I do love that one as well. Uh, Bethany says, I'm definitely asking for gift cards. Awesome. I can't wait to go pack your order, Bethany, if I haven't already. Um, uh, Dolores says, enjoy. Thank you so much. I love my Gemini, says Melissa. So thank you, everyone. Don't forget to now hop on over to the website. I'll leave you one more link here as well. Make sure you get your free Lift Your Spirits class. Grab your favorites from the new release. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to plan on tomorrow. I just, I don't know what Craig's got planned for us. So maybe we'll even be in the garage. I'll be making the first ever red rubber stamp set. Wouldn't that be super cool? Um, would you all love for me to go live to share with you as we make our first ever stamp set? Would that be a fun thing? Let me know. Uh, if you want to see that as well. Um, thank you for joining me. Have a very happy rest of your Saturday and join me over on Instagram for some stories at maker.forte and I'll share with you. We'll go and get some bubble tea and I'll share it with you so you can all see what it's all about. I'll see you very, very soon. Have a crafty afternoon and do share with me in the Crafter Party Facebook group what you've been up to. I'll see you later. Bye.